Hi guys, it's really freezing today here in Germany and so I have a little tutorial for making PCBs the right way. So let's get started. Okay, here's what you need. A laser printer, 1200 dpi would be great. Of course some transparent paper to print your PCB on. And UV light to expose the PCB. And of course some cover clad board that accepts UV light. The photo resist developer. S and hydrogen peroxide to etch the PCB. So the first thing that you need is of course a PCB or at least a PCB design um, that you want to, to etch. So there are a lot of softwares out there that you can use, Eagle for example. Um, I prefer to use uh, Fritzing, it's um, for free and I use it because it's a, it's a great software and also know the guys who are doing Fritzing, um, so yeah, I recommend this, it's really great software. So this is the web page of Fritzing, um, there you can uh, download the software and also the, the, the app if you want and you also can produce your um, PCBs if you don't want to do it on your own but yeah, we're tough guys we doing this so um, just click uh, go to fritzing.org and click on download and uh, fritzing is for free it's open source um, and here you can say, okay, I want to donate something, maybe, or oh, no donation, and say um, donate and download. So, click download, choose your um, operating system. For me, it's Windows 64 bit. And now the download will start, It'll take about yeah, one minute. And then we can use it. But here I have my uh, my PCB. Um, what I now need to do is extract the PCB design uh, and print it on transparent paper. Um, for that, I have an option that's called um, Platine Exportieren. In English, it's Export PCB. And say I can say I want a PDF or I want an SVG file. I can say SVG. Um, now let's see. I do a new folder on the desktop. Um, let's see. Box um, join check. Export. Like this. And say export. And that's it. And now let's have a look what happened here. So this is the exported images from my PCB. Um, let's open the, the bottom side. Let's open up Inkscape. Uh, it take some time. Yes. That's it. Make it a little bigger. Well, 
this is my PCB. Um, these pins are, for example, the, the stepper motor driver here. Um, these are my screw terminals. This here is my uh, voltage regulator, my 5 volt voltage regulator. And this thing, next thing that you need to do is um, print it out on transparent paper. So let's go to the next step. Okay, now the result that looks perfect. Okay, so now before we begin to expose the PCB to the UV light and um, we need to set up the developer for the PCB. Um, that is quite easy. Just need another container and natrium hydroxide. Um, you need about um, 15 gram per liter. Okay, now we need some hot water, about 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, this looks good. This is about 23 degrees, I think. 24. grams of natrium hydroxide for 215 milliliters. Don't forget the water should be about 20 degrees Celsius. Then develop the developer works best. This is my UV lamp that I built. It has a Arduino Pro Mini in it. And it has about 100 watt. Here I can set the time how long the exposure to the UV light will be. Here on top you see about 300 UV LEDs. <clears throat> so I hope you can see it. Now I can uh, peel off the protective, the protective layer from the PCB Okay, now place your 
PZ. You print here with the the printed side on the bottom, so that the printed side is touching the PCB. glass to press down the, the print that looks quite good I think yeah I think we we can start Okay, I would say see you in 10 minutes. Okay, I think now the magic happens. Great. Really, really cool. Okay. Move it a little bit. Look at this. Okay, we're done. I show you. Really a great result. Perfect. Okay, the last part is get rid of the of the unneeded copper. So let's go and etch this thing. Okay, for etching the copper we need some 50 degrees hot water and natrium persulfate. We pass the PCB in the solution for I think around 40 minutes and this will etch the um, exposed parts of the PCB away. So I will prepare the solution and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, let's put the PCB in it. Okay, the process is finished. Um, it took about 45 minutes, but the result is really great. Really great. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, just want to add uh, some more uh, details about this uh, method. Um, I think um, there's no other method uh, where you can produce PCBs um, where you get this great result. Um, like this we did and of course you can keep the, the acid where you, you etch your PCB you can reuse it all the time um, but yeah you have to take care of course um, every time you heat it up you lose some water um, and you need to add something to it you need to add uh, chemicals to it um, but normally you can you can use it um, for, 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 for 
leave some more etching. Um, yeah, you also have to take care uh, of, your, of your clothes uh, when you etch your PCBs because um, um, you don't see it immediately, but after uh, so 10 to 20 hours, um, yeah, could be that you have some holes in your in your clothes uh, because of the chemicals. So just wear old clothes um, or just be careful. Um, okay, I would say that's it. That was the um, photopositive method to how to etch a PCB. Uh, I hope you liked it. And uh, when you want to know what uh, I will do with the PCB, um, when you want to see my new box shine chick that's um, powered and controlled by an Arduino, um, just wait for my new video. Thanks. And if you like the video, uh, please consider to subscribe to my channel or uh, give it a thumbs up. That would help me a lot. Take care. Thank you. It's really, really good quality. It went perfect.